This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Odd Eyes Magician deck yet again. Um, I've been having some pro recording issues, basically, uh, because I keep trying to discuss certain things that distract me from the game, and I make huge, like, 100% just out of the ordinary, like, mistakes. Uh, he has no extra deck, he's playing Masterpiece deck. Okay, this is actually not a, that big of a problem, uh, because of the fact that we have cards that can boost uh, how things operate. And Pendulum Call makes stuff uh, unaffected, and then if his if his masterpiece is, un is affected by spells, Dragon Pit and Dragon Pulse or Dragon Pulse Magician specifically can out it by popping a card and popping the masterpiece. Uh, so there's a lot of like really good like applications this deck has against Masterpiece Turbo. Um, but oh, he's playing Return of the Monarch too, that's interesting. I mean, it makes sense if he's playing no extra deck because then he could be playing more spells, Monarch spells and traps. What did he add to his hand? He added Dragonic Diagram and he added Majesty Maiden. Majesty Maiden does not fit with the theme of um, of the stuff, but I mean, off of Return, you can search for this. So, there is that. What? What just happened? I don't know if I like what just happened, but it happened. Okay, then. Well, alrighty then. Well, so what I have access into is I can go Janky, I can add that to hand, I can discard, I can do things, I can do things, I can do things, I can do things. Um, I can discard this, I can discard the Janky, I can put this in my scale. Um, I can Pendulum Call into Wisdom Eyes, just because of the fact that I don't need anything else. Um, mm, yeah, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. I'm going to activate Sky Iris, right? And then I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to pop this, and then I'm going to Pendulum Call, discarding Dragon Pit, because the Dragon Pit will be able to add back, be added back by um, by this. So that's not a big issue. Um, but so what I'm going to add here is I'm going to add the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and that'll be able to go into my scale. So we'll do this. I'll discard the Dragon Pulse for Wisdom Eye and um, and Noble Dragon. I don't know what I want to do here. I can make... Mm, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kill him. It's easy. So I'm going to get this, and I'm going to get Wisdom Eye. Or no, Noble Dragon seems better. Noble Dragon seems better. It does. No, we'll get Wisdom Eye. I don't think it matters, actually. Um, but So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the Dragon Pit in my scale, and then I'm going to put the Janky Magician in my scale, and then I'm going to be able to just Pendulum these, and then that's game. <laughs> well then, because uh, I'll be able to Pendulum these, uh, I'll Pendulum just everything, I don't fucking care. The Dragonic Diagram is going to protect it from dying once, but at the same time its attack value is going to be zero. Um, so yeah, so I'd love to activate this effect just to get back the Dragon Pit that's in my grave, even though it doesn't actually matter. Um, it doesn't actually matter at all, uh, but I can overlay these two into Utopia Beyond, that can make this zero. <laughs> And then we just kill him. We just attack for 5,000. Because that's what Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon does. And it doesn't die, but that's okay. That means that I just get to attack it with Utopia Beyond. God damn it, I love this deck. It's so easy to just kill people that just don't expect anything happening to them. Uh, but yeah, so like this, this deck is way, way well equipped to deal with Masterpiece. 100%. Very, very well equipped. Because of the fact that you've got Odd Eyes Light Phoenix that contribute to boost anything by a thousand, um, so it contribute to boost like more power Odd Eyes monsters, and so you can boost Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to 35. Uh, so that's a big thing. Uh, if it's affected by, if it's able to be affected by spells, like I've already said, Dragon Pit can pop it. Um, you've got Odd Eyes Unicorn's scale effect that also lets you do things with like Skull Crobat Joker and Odd Eyes um, to give it the extra attack that it needs to get over Masterpiece. Um, and then, like, most of your stuff, like, plays are going to be protected from Masterpiece anyway because you've got things like Sky Iris to protect your scales. You've got Pendulum Call to protect your scales. 
Uh, you've got all this sort of stuff. The only thing you're really going to be worried about is them popping your monsters. Uh, but, like, depending on what your hand is, you're able to throw enough out there for it not to matter anyway. Um, like, there's all that sort of stuff. You can make Utopia Beyond very easily, uh, which if it's affected by... If it's able to be affected by monster effects, um, then it just lowers it to zero. Like, there's there's so much well-built-in true, like, capability to deal with the card in both this deck and Performer Pals naturally, which is really good um, for, like, how, how the, like, deck needs to function against things like Masterpiece. But, anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. This one, again, was also kind of short, but I mean, hell... Like, that's how this deck functions. Like, when you're operating on full cylinders with this deck, going second, and your opponent leaves the situation like that, just wide open for you to just absolutely do whatever you want to them, then you just do. It's super simple and super easy. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It really shows support for the content that you like and enjoy. And if you want to keep seeing me make content like this, then definitely go check that out. As well as even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support. But also, it opens up the Patreon feed for you where you can vote on uploading orders and what type of content that I do in terms of if I have a couple of video ideas, I'll post on there and say, hey, which one do you guys want to see the most? Or I'll post like three decks in a poll and say, which one of these do you want to see me play the most? And whatever the order goes in will be the order that they are released in terms of next day, the day after that, the day after that, stuff like that. So if you're interested, then definitely go check that out. But also if you want to have personal access to a private Discord server with me and a bunch of other people where we just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! and various other fandoms and meme at each other a lot, then definitely check out the $5 reward tier as well if you're interested in that. And that is all the things that you could do to support the channel directly if you want to support me directly, essentially, because God knows making this sort of stuff does not does not bode well with YouTube's current ad revenue system. So you got to get whatever help you can in any other way. But anyway, other than that, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to welcome you on board. Welcome you to the community built around this channel and all that sort of nonsense because I'd love to grow this channel further. I'd love to get more people that, you know, have opinions involved in what I do and all that sort of stuff. So definitely subscribe if you already haven't and you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content. But other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.